Hey everyone, I'm Danny. I'm joined here by my friend Georgia. Hello. We Hi. are Dark Souls 3 speedrunners, or at least we try to. <laughs> try to be, yeah. Depends yeah. on the day, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some days we do like pretty decently, but today we're gonna be ranking some Dark Souls 3 bosses, and I think it's gonna be pretty fun. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. I'm excited. No, I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, well, so excited. Nat runs um, all bosses glitchless. I, I have run all bosses glitchless as well, but I mostly run any percent. So she she probably is gonna have a little bit uh, different insight because she does like different routes and stuff. So we're gonna maybe like explain a bit of, of that. Yeah, let's just go cool. in order. Abyss Watchers. Uh, Abyss Watchers is one of the hardest yes. bosses in any percent glitchless because you usually do like short short. With a raw infusion and no no many upgrades, no levels at all, too. So right, it's pretty yeah. hard. And yes, I think it does have like a complex move set as well. Um, I like yeah, the boss. Usually... I like the lore. I like the music. I would rank it probably like an A boss. What do you think? Uh let's see here. Are we are we are we looking at like are we talking in terms of of uh, move sets and OST all that stuff or just difficulty in general? Like, I would say, like, everything. Like, a, everything? a balance between okay. everything. Okay. Uh, well, again, it depends on, on which which run you're talking about, because for you, on any percent, it is the hardest boss, most likely. Yeah. As opposed to my run, who's <laughs> pretty... Yeah, you, you know, destroy them. <laughs> yeah, I destroy them in a couple of hits, yeah, so... Uh, and also, in, in, of... in all different characters that are not glitchless, they just glitch them to be AI frozen. Exactly. So like they are, they just become a literal punching bag and just take it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I, it's really tough, honestly. If you, if you're, you're talking in terms of difficulty and just uh, eh, visuals, I guess I, I think I would put it in B, honestly. B. I, I know. Yeah. I, think I mean, I, I, I could, I could go like all over any of these three, depending on the argument. I do think B yes. is fine because like you can find some broken stuff on this boss, like for sure. We find a lot of those like mistakes on the game where the boss will simply not do what it's supposed to. Like it will do the jumping to short distance on you, but like yeah. you're next to him and it looks yes. super silly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think yeah. B is fine. Yeah. All right. So we have he, Aldridge, Devourer of Gods. Is that um, what it is? Oh my god, I could I could barely see. What is that image? Yeah, that's Aldridge like shooting arrows. Oh my like, god, it is. Yeah, the like, worst. It, like it yeah. should be. Well, okay, in terms of... Alright, honestly, I feel like if anything bad happens... It, yes, he can give you up to three attacks at the very beginning, but when it comes to space two, if you're not on him, you know, he, he will end up using the arrows, which is the worst case scenario for this fight, but I feel like it's really dependent on the player, you yeah. know, so I... I, I think the boss is... It's kind of cool sometimes, like, it has some flashy moves, like the scythe and the arrows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's overall kind of a wimp, I think. Like, it's super weak yeah. to fire. It is. Uh, there's a reason on all bosses, uh, unrestricted, they fight it with plus four. Like, mm -hmm. You don't really need many upgrades for this guy. Yeah. Um, I, I would personally place it in C. Yeah. Yeah, I think C is fine. Uh, I, I do like the... Um, this mechanic that if you hit the the head it does it does like twice the damage and if you hit the the tail it does like half damage yeah i think that's pretty cool yeah. I, I don't think there, yeah, there's is. that on any other boss no i don't think so um yeah so don't be far away because aldrich will do arrows and then you're gonna be there yeah. Yeah. yeah, most people are saying that it's unavoidable, but I know that you like to prove them wrong and say, like, yeah. it really depends. It's not RNG, dude. <laughs> no, it's positioning. It's <laughs> All right, I'm not even going to talk about Ancient Wyvern. Just, it's just an F. <laughs> F for you? Not even scuffed? Dude, we like, literally just do the AI. I mean, not the AI. We do the, yeah, the one-shot jump mm -hmm. on the head, like, in every yeah. category, even glitchless. Because it's just pain. It's just it such is, a yeah. bad gimmick. <laughs> Yeah, nobody wants to run through the, the, the yeah. area, like just an area without the boss could be cool, I think. But like, just the yeah, boss, and some, the, the fact that it just sometimes gets stuck. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I have a clip of that somewhere, but like he just gets stuck on like the beginning of the, oh, of the, the area. Oh, the Wyvern, yes. Yeah, yeah and, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. won't go to you. 
Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. Well, what's the difference between F and scuffed, actually? Uh, where's scuffed? I just, oh! At the very, at the very... Oh, because yeah. I changed, I changed the, um, oh, you, the letters. You I have S, A, oh. B, C, E, and F. I don't have scuffed. Okay, yes, okay. Uh, it's a... Uh, for some reason, for me, it's at the very bottom, so I was wondering. Uh, yeah. If we if we're just getting rid of scuffed entirely, then definitely F, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for if sure. we've had scuffed, then this would be scuffed for sure. <laughs> yeah. So we have a little nod to uh, Sif, the yes. wolf, here yes. with Champion Grape Tender. Yeah. yeah. I personally don't enjoy much uh, PvP-like fights. Yeah. No, it's it's not very enjoyable. Or gank it? fights, even though the the yeah. wolves like he has four wolves, I think, and they are really kind of weak. Three actually. Three, yeah. yeah. But it's yeah. like, um, I, I don't know. It's just kind of unnecessary. I would prefer I, I like... it if they made the move set of the wolf a little better and just like. It's basically a reskin of Vort, yeah. Yeah, it's just <laughs> I mean, really bad. It's charge attacks and yeah. I, I feel like the, the fight is really, it's kind of half and half, you're right. The PvP aspect of it, I, I dislike, even though we can punish it pretty well yeah, in yeah. our bosses, you know, but if he gives you good RNG, of course. Uh, but um, yeah, the, the wolf is, is the pretty okay part, I guess. Um, it's a pretty quick fight, honestly, so. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, true. It's done right. Like his, it's done the right. wolf resistance is like really, 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 really bad. Like he takes yeah, like six hits or something. Six yeah. elements with twin blades yes. plus ten, and then he Correct. just melts. Yeah, and he, so... it's super funny because he will stagger on the last hit, and then just yeah. instead of taking the repose, you just do one more hit and he dies immediately. Yeah, otherwise you just have to sit there and you you can't burn out, so yeah. <laughs> you just lose time. Yeah, I don't know. I I what would you rank it? Um, well, you do can kind of uh, loop, stagger loop uh, the NPC with I think it's. L1R2? Yes, right? correct. L1R2, mm -hmm. yep. L1R2. So, it's not much of a problem. I would rank it on D, probably. Yeah. I mean, I don't like this boss personally, yeah. but it's not the yeah. worst. The, the the music is the best part, honestly. Yeah, he has and, no and, right and to slap that much. Like, the, that song is really cool. Yeah. The really arena. Oh, but the running section up to this guy, it's just so bad. It is bad, <laughs> Just yes. falling down the branch is... Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> I actually yeah. lost runs doing that segment because you you do spook to not die like falling down the branches, but there's yep. a couple of branches that are like butter, like literally just slide it right off. Yeah, either yeah. that or you just get impaled by an arrow coming out of nowhere. Yeah, and <laughs> just you quit <laughs> out and you yeah. come back in the game and you're like yep. on the ledge, like just a yes. toe holding on for your yeah, good life, just... and then you just die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Champ Gundir. I think he's good, yeah. Yes. Oh my god, that is probably the most satisfying fight. I love uh, Champ Gundir, entire... honestly. Yeah. It's too good. Yeah, so it's a, it's kind of a, um, a parry simulator, but for every category, there's kind of like um, a scripted strat that you can, that you mm -hmm. can uh, do. So for all bosses, depending on what dressing you use and what uh, upgrade level you have, you can do it with plus five, you can do plus six, or you can do like um, the peach route, which is plus nine, which I know that oh you do. Oh my god, plus nine? Wait, no, I, wait, I do, wait, do I do plus nine? Yeah, you do plus yes, nine. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, because you do, yeah, actually, you do yes, Wyvern, do. you pick up Dream yes, Chaser's Ashes, and then you go you kill Thunder with plus nine. It's very comfortable, Danny, you should try it. I it's mean, so good. it looks comfy, but oh, I'm, I'm used to the other strat. With the yeah, plus six. Fair. The plus six that's is fair. really comfy, so you just do... I think it's L1, R1, L1. And then... You do L1, L1, L1. Two times. With Bundle. Yep. Or with a... No, with a, a Dark Pine Resin. Human Pine Resin. Yes. Then you roll the transition and just walk behind him. And then you stagger him and you kill him like, during the stagger. Which is yeah. super cool looking. It's, it's amazing. It it's like a, literally yeah, yeah. a 30 second fight. Yeah, it's so a cool. very precise fight for sure, but it looks very, very nice. <laughs> oh, on casual, like, the boss is super fun to fight overall. It is, yeah, absolutely. Even if you don't parry, it's so cool. Like, the moveset is. It, it always catches you uh, off guard of with guard, the kick yeah. and stuff. I, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I like to compare him to like a, a Street Fighter boss, uh, especially during Phase 2 when he kicks around and stuff yeah. and pummels you. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't like, know what a rank cool boss. Him. Yeah. Music, uh, it's it's fine, but um, the arena like, it's all dark. It's, I, I like it a lot. I would honestly like give it probably an A. An A? Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, do you really? Oh, I mean, you I, I you're going for B. A. What do you? Uh, I don't. I was I was honestly debating between B and C. Oh really? <laughs> I won't lie oh to wow. You. Yeah. Okay, let's I mean, compromise it, it is and. A satisfying, B. It is a satisfying fight, but I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, guess I, I think it's, it's yeah, a B it's work. a it's a risking but don't right, you know, because yeah, like absolutely. It's not yeah. like uh for example God Skin Duo in Elden Ring, they just toss the boss like same moveset, same HP pool, like yeah. all yeah. the same. Yeah, they just pull them together. Yeah, yeah. it's just the same. But movesets, here, yeah. like it, it's the same character model, but the whole fight yeah. is just different. Like you cannot mm-hmm. do anything similarly. Yeah. You're right. Okay, let's stay with B. Yeah, B is fine. Crystal Sage, is there Ah yeah yeah yeah. Uh I mean, oh, yeah, 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 Crystal yeah, Sage yeah. is a boss for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the bosses ever created by Promsoft. Uh, I, 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 honestly, I would probably put it as F. There's nothing I want to even talk about with Sage. It's just kind of. All right. So he, the thing we do with you soul mass the thing not, we do right? with Sage is that if he gives you soul mass, he won't teleport until he's done like throwing all the the magic balls at you. So you can just kind of spin him. Until he, he dies. You can do yeah. that on any percent glitchless, you can do that on all bosses, all bosses glitchless. Um, yep. But on the route that does early DLC, you have a plus... Well, you do have also plus 3 weapon, but yes. I think you have only like 20 decks, 22 or 23. 23 to 24, yeah. It depends on if the NPCs want to die at the very beginning or not, but so you, yeah, if, usually it's... If you don't have soul mass, RNG as opener, then you are stuck with parrying. You need to parry yeah. at least one one of the attacks. Y- yeah, basically. Yeah, you want to just go in, bundle up, and then just do two L ones, I believe. Yes, two L no, two L ones, four L ones. Four L ones, and then he'll yeah. teleport. You can teleport, read the yeah. crystals to see where he'll position himself, but mm-hmm. if, if yeah, you taught me, you taught me how to read these crystals yeah, yeah. and help people are so I mean, impressed. It's, it's not that bad. <laughs> it, like it's literally no. only three spots. If you yes. don't go past half HP, if you go past half HP, then it all goes to shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, you don't want yeah. that. But uh, yeah, it's not it's not a really good boss, I would say. If you go to phase two, you're stuck fighting the clones, which have all of them have one HP, so it's like not really that hard. Yeah. Uh, I I, w- I would still I would still rank it as F though. It is just yeah. such a uh, a may fight. I I messed up a couple of uh, weeks ago when it comes to Sage, and oh. apparently it can it can also impale you. Oh yeah, and, that's the third uh, hit yeah, of the it... <laughs> yeah of the combo. Yeah, it can impale yeah, you. Yeah, I didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh well, if he yeah. can impale you, then it's definitely an A. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Okay, this is a good one. This is like if you don't give it at least an A, I'm gonna be mad. I this no, is dancer I, honestly, of the Boreal Valley. Yes. If if we were talking about any percent in 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 Dark Souls three, I think Dancer is still my favorite, just aesthetically, and just moveset wise, and and just it's just so it's just so pretty to look at, you know. Yeah, yeah, so it, I, it's I very majestic like... to look at. Like yes, I think they exactly. nailed it. And the music yeah. is like really creepy. Yes, I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Also, it's I th- I would say it's one of the more consistent fights. There's a lot of strafes that you can do. You can just yes. One of the of the infamous attacks is the grab. People say like yes. the grab is too broken that you cannot roll it. But if you just walk to the left, like you will just walk right past it, and it's it's super good, super precise. Yeah, it's it's satisfying to do. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in front of her, she'll start doing like all kind of crazy shit. Like. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to be. There's. I think there's a seven hit that. combo that she can do. Is like. Yeah. You're it's definitely crazy. running out of stamina there. Yeah. Yeah. So you just. <laughs> Stick to the um, to the right thigh or like kind of the right butt cheek. <laughs> yes, yeah, always, yeah. Yeah, always stick, stick to, to the blood, the the bloodborne, mm-hmm. the, the bloodborne strats. Stick yes. to the butt. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So should be fine. Dancer is a really good one. Um, I think yeah, I think A for sure. Yeah, for for me as well, definitely an A. 
Oh boy, here we go. All right, well, we don't even need to talk about this one. Uh, that's gonna F. <laughs> that goes straight to the trash right there. Yeah, well, Deacons, there's not much... There's actually nothing interesting about Deacons. It's just... You, you run to the mob that has a fire orb. I mean, a red yep. orb, and then yep. you win. Or you that's get melted. <laughs> yeah. If you that's have no the only viewer. part that's really good about about this fight is just kind of the, the beginning, because it's it's the only safe-ish, you know, um, uh, attack that you can do the entire fight, yeah, and then yeah. you just have to pray. <laughs> yeah, because, <laughs> like, Deacons can... There's so many of them, and they can all... Uh, it's just completely RNG. How yeah. many of them will attack you, and when will attack you? If one yeah. mob decides to attack you right after the other, you will be rolling the first attack and getting hit by the second. Yeah. And it's like, there's nothing you can do there. <laughs> It's, nope, it's, it's nope, super silly. Isn't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This is this is definitely a bad boss. I. It's one of my least favorites. The song is kind of cool. So. I, I guess. But I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's super <laughs> epic. It's like one of these organ songs. Way too song. epic. Yeah. It's, way too. Yeah. Epic. I imagine a, an old lady going ham in church. Like, <laughs> dead, 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 dead. <laughs> wow, lady, she's <laughs> take it down a notch, please. please this, the, down. the boss is not that good. It doesn't deserve that song. <laughs> All right, ODK. Um, oh God, I, old Demon King. I mean, I like Ugh. like the lore implications of the old old Demon King. Like, it was a, a cool guy that is just now uh, like really decrepit, like really old and really yeah. weak. Yeah. Yeah. In all bosses, it it's not even a fight though. No. In all bosses and all bosses glitchless, this is the last fight of the run. So yeah. you have like forty decks and. Plus 10 sharp twin blades with all the OP rings and you just melt him in like seven hits or something with bundles. Yeah. So he like yeah, he can literally do nothing. Part. Exactly. <laughs> I, I feel like if it wasn't if it wasn't at the very end of the run, it would it would probably be a you know a, a much higher ranked boss, but unfortunately you can barely see any moves. Uh, so Okay, yeah. but now we, we have also we also have to mention that you can get stuck on the hammer as well. Yes, <laughs> You've had that yeah, a couple yeah. of times, yeah. Mm -hmm, because absolutely. like the, the hitbox of the hammer or the collision, like it clips, it, you can clip through it and just get caught on the hammer and then you cannot yep. ex escape his, um, his face transition or his um, explosion. Yeah, it's, it's and really you just get damaged and yeah, sometimes really... die actually. Yeah, yeah, really I've seen weird. a couple of guys <laughs> die to the, to it's the really hammer terrible, meme. Yeah. <laughs> It's literally the end of the run, yeah. It really is, yeah, uh, the last couple that's of funny. seconds. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I, this was not honestly too good. The, the movesets no, are I... pretty basic. I'd say positioning is kind of scuffed. Like, you can get hit by stuff that doesn't look like it. His uh, right. hammer hitbox is kind of broken, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Fire is super I annoying. I would probably put it on the F, to be honest with you. Really? I, I, mean, I was thinking wait, of D. Maybe D? Yeah, D. Yeah, All right. yeah D is on fair. It, it's not a bad boss, it's just that we, we choose to tackle him at the very end of the run, I feel like. So it's kind of on us for doing that. You know? So, uh, Demon Prince. What do you think about my guy, Demon Prince? Or Demon Princess, uh... actually? It is so satisfying. It's such a satisfying boss to, yes. to kill, honestly. Yes. I feel like I feel like it's it deserves an A. I mean, I, I honestly, I get excited to fight this boss on my run. I, honestly. I also do. It, it's, um, the adrenaline goes super high yes. on this boss. Yes, absolutely. And you, the no way that you can healing. position yourself for the opener and yes. just he, yes. he leaps to you and you are already mm -hmm. hitting him. It's yep. so precise and looks yep. so cool. I, yeah, I love it. I love everything about this fight for sure. Even the bleed proc during Demon Prince. Uh, himself i yeah i love everything everything about this fight everything. oh yeah that's true we use bleed uh during the transition you know when he's down before mm -hmm. he explodes you do because he doesn't take damage but he does um take a bleed like build up yes so it takes less time mm -hmm. to make him bleed on a second phase and his resistance is all like double literally yeah yeah so and bleed best... is super good for it yeah, the best the best part is probably when he's about to to jump back when he's a, a couple of HP um, away from death and oh, you can yeah. finish him off just in time right before he jumps back and then you just can, you know that that's it the, the fight's done at that point. It's yeah, this fight is amazing. It's super good. It. It's the way to do a a double boss fight properly. 
Yes. Looking at you again, guns can do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh definitely an A for sure. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. All right, DSA. DSA. Um, it's honestly, it's one of them. Just the, to satisfy. Yeah, as well, yeah. I feel it's like. Super precise too, like the movement, the the no lock on DSA. Just one way to do. If you lock off the boss, you have more freedom of movement, so it's easier to strafe some attacks. Mm -hmm. There's some insane strafe that you can do on, on Dragon Slayer. Um, it's kind of scripted for the most part, at least the yeah. opener. If you get the opener correctly, then the fight should like go smoothly. But it's just one of those bosses that can also be a pain in the ass. If he lifts his shield, you're just yeah, there the waiting for up. him to like do yeah. something. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. annoying. Yeah, it's the worst <laughs> feeling. Or, or yeah. the if if you mess up and go to second phase, and the the butterflies come and start like shooting meatballs at you and yes. lasers, and it's death. just insane. That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing though. You you usually do this fight with plus uh, six, right? I believe. Yeah, we do on on any percent glitchless. We use plus six. In all yeah. bosses, should be plus five. Plus yeah, plus five. I I do it on plus nine. So it, this fight is insanely comfy yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's comfy. So I yeah, I love this fight so much. Yeah, uh, it's a good when it one. comes to any percent though, it's very, very like you said, it's very precise. So if you miss a couple of hits and it it ends up totaling up, it's it's the worst. <laughs> it is. You wanna hear something funny? We actually use DSA as an audio test every time that we're gonna do like a charity marathon or something like that. I, I yeah, I think you yeah. because it's a we load a safe file. Fight, right? Yeah, because it's so yeah. loud. Like <laughs> There's yeah. like screams and lasers and yeah, yeah it's yeah. insane. It's so this nice. is a good one. Yeah. For me, I would rank at least an A. Mm -hmm. All I right. agree. Yeah. I agree. Oof, this is a rough one to rank. Ooh. Ooh. Mr. Freed. Yeah. Frida? Frida? Frida. Frida. Um, mm, well, personally, it, it can be a beautiful fight if mm. she decides to give you the best RNG once again. It's... And, and also the second phase, same thing, where he just kind of like sits there and just, you know, uh, pours his soup all over the place. You can, <laughs> you can just basically like park yourself behind him and just go to town. Yeah. I, I love that as well. Um, I, I, I and... don't really enjoy much of phase two. I think it's kind of annoying. The, the old guy when while the other is shooting slam, at you. Yes, like, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And I agree. I but... also have been like squished by Father Ariando just zooming. <laughs> like... I, I try to roll through him, but he, he's just so wide. Like, why is it? Yeah. He looks really skinny, dude. Why does he yeah. have such an insane hitbox? It, I mean, it's just the soup, man. I think it's the soup, you know? Yeah, it's just the insane bowl. Yeah, and then also, I mean, you got to appreciate the, the opener of phase three, though, when you just position yes. yourself behind her. Yes, there's he, a really precise punish. opener that yeah. you can do, yeah. Yeah, I love that. I you love just that so much. run around her and then just catch her with a backstab, and it looks so cool. Mm -hmm. Really, like people yeah. are always impressed by that. Yes, no, I personally that it it earns an A in my opinion, but I know that you're not a big fan. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I mean, phase. yeah, second phase is kind of ugly, but um, on all bosses, the thing is, we we did a couple of meme run meme runs. Um, there was a bounty that we were doing for Gal, what's called Gal percent. Yeah, Gal percent. So you would kill Freed in order to go to the LC two. And you were fighting Freed okay. with, um, I think it was a plus five twin blades. <sighs> so second phase rough. was so long. Uh, Ariando sure. was just not going down. On, on all bosses, you just don't care. When Freed starts healing Ariando, you just keep hitting him and he dies. Like, you cannot outheal the damage that he can do. But on plus five, it was super scuff. Like, you were definitely losing that battle. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah, I would still reckon that A though, the, the music, the lore, I like the character, the design, the weapon, the moveset, it's really, really cool. Yeah. It, it's like, it, it sure. looks like an NPC, but it's, it's not an NPC fight at all. Like, mm -hmm. it's super well done. Agreed. Alright, so. Agreed. Great wood. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. All right, well, that one is going to go in the trash as well. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> What were they thinking? It's, it's just one of those bosses that I just don't understand. What I they mean, had in their mind when they made it. It's just a lot of hollows and then just popping balls. It's just... Yeah, yeah. 
And sometimes, sometimes you can get caught in those balls as well. I, I, <laughs> I need to say it, Danny. Right? I need yeah. to say it sometimes on phase th two when you drop the down and you try to just go in, you know, go yeah, in before yeah, the, he, the, the hand slams if you. If he falls on you, then you're yeah. stuck on him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it happened a couple of times for me. That was unfortunate, but, you know. So we, there, there's a couple of different routes in all bosses that you can do. Um, some people do plus zero short sword. Or a stock, depending on, on category. It's incredibly precise. It's as well. super precise. The stamina, like the um, the damage that you get with bundles, yeah. it's super super precise. And if you mm -hmm. get unlucky with the with the hollows, they are aggro. Sometimes yeah. they're on crack. Like you cannot <laughs> stop them. <laughs> no, for real. Like they <laughs> will oh, destroy you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. But uh, Nat, I know that you're doing um, stream blitz plus. Right? Yes, that is probably I'm probably the only runner who's doing it that way. Honestly, I yeah. I I refuse to to you know <laughs> to go your she route. Really I, does. I know it doesn't matter how many times you've told me, hey, you know, just try and, and just learn try. Uh, short sword. Bad. Even short sword is not that bad. No, it's I super refuse, cursed. Man. It's actually super cursed. Like, yeah, I yeah. mean, <laughs> I, I like to see my runs live beyond great words. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Great with this. Yeah, it's a, it's a very bad one. The music is even bad. Like the arena is just super uninteresting. <laughs> I think I yeah, I definitely need that for me. Yeah. And definitely. now we go to the interesting part of the video. Okay. Half Life. No, Spears of the I, Church. I I don't even think it, <laughs> Half Life doesn't even deserve to be placed in any of these. You should just be just staying on ranked, man. All right, Half Life can be a really smooth sail, or it can be just disgusting. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So you yeah. you first of all you have to uh, take down uh, Argo, the adjudicator. Yeah. Should be like seven hits or something with plus ten twin blades, with which is yeah. it's not yeah. bad. No. Then you have to precisely nail the backstab as uh, the painted guardian appears as as they yes. spawn. If you do that, then you're half of the uh, of the way there. Yeah. <laughs> but if you mess that up and yeah, yeah, and half light comes in, yep. and the other guy's still alive, then you're just screwed. Because mm -hmm. he's gonna get healed. It's oh uh, my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, disgusting. Yeah, yeah. It is. So in in theory, if you do it right and if he gives you the best RNG, you can get him down within two cycles. But yes. usually it doesn't end up that way. So yeah, because um, he can do uh, he can interrupt the combo with soul yes. mass. He can mm -hmm. do the magic, and it, that, that's automatic. Like it's instant. So there's mm -hmm. literally nothing you can do if you get unlucky. So you can even see like world record runners losing runs to this boss because it's just, yep. just so trash. <laughs> it's just so bad. It should not be in so there. So for, for, I... for speed runs it's it's disgusting. It is and it, it yeah. like it really doesn't need to be healed. Like why why did they put that that idiot there? <laughs> just because, you know, it, it's it, demon souls, that's why. <laughs> yeah, oh because the demon yeah. Soul reference, yeah. The demon soul reference, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And Miyazaki even said that that was one of his favorite boss ever. Are you serious? No, I, I, I read for sure. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm no, not joking. you're lying, Danny. The, the biggest problem with uh, NPCs in Dark Souls 3, at least, is that the, their AI breaks and they start like rolling everything. Yes. Or rolling against a wall and you're just yes. stuck waiting for him to run out of stamina. And yeah. Spoiler alert, they won't run out of stamina. They have so much <laughs> no, stamina. It's insane. They, they don't know what stamina is. I, they, I truly believe this at this point. They, they don't can know. Uh, do they a, a five hit combo and then just roll six times and still <laughs> run. Yes. It's insane. Yeah. So, yeah, Half Light's a bad one. It, I would say at least an okay. F or D. Yes. It's definitely not higher than D? that. D? Are you insane, Danny? You, yes. You, no. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Okay. No, no. F, no, no. F is fine. F is fine. Yes, please. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you like Gundir. Um, I don't know. Gundir, Gundir is the it's first Gundir. Kind of a good boss. I like it better than. It, it, it is a good intro. Yes, I feel like it is. I like honestly. it better than Dark Souls One and Two uh, intro bosses. Yeah. Um, I, I liked it. Personally. I like the moveset. We have a really interesting uh, strat for speedruns. We count thirteen hits, then two charge R twos and three bombs, and that kills the boss. Mm -hmm. 
some people refuse to count. <clears throat> I'm not gonna point any fingers, listen, but it, listen, it's right I, there. I, I, all I'm saying is, if he gives me the best RNG and I count to 15 instead of 13, Danny, hear me out. 15, mm -hmm. then you do two charge R2s, you still Just... stagger him, and you finish him within two bombs. And that's perfect. But it's like, you're doing two extra hits to do one less bomb. <laughs> I think the maths is incorrect, but that's just my really opinion. Matter. It's fine. I mean, we're not gonna argue seconds. this today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to convince you to do 13 I'm instead sorry. of 15, but yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Uh, I'm it's sorry. a it's a cool Sometimes boss. It. It, it's variable. Yeah. It's strafable. It's weak to fire. You can start with fire bombs. You can start with pyro. Yes, um, I agree. Um, I it's cool. I would say it's kind of tough though. I would, I would say, say like a B, C. your C. B? It's fine. I would I agree. Yeah, I think, I think oh, yeah, C, because you know? Champion Gunder is a B, then yeah, this one's yes. a C for sure. Ex yeah, yeah. Alright, this time for your favorite boss, Nat. My boy. Your boy, Midir. <laughs> it's impossible. This boss is impossible. Yeah, this boss is impossible to kill. Like, there's no it's way you're killing Midir solo. HP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's uh, so many. Co if you go on Reddit and type Midir, you will find. Like the holy grail of copy pastas. Uh, no, There's just you, you, so you much copy people. I just... them so much in my chat. I love them all. <laughs> I love them all. I cherish them all every time I see them in my chat. Yeah, this Barney purple crystal fuck has been killing me for 400 <laughs> <Yes>. times. <laughs> this guy is like, I'm stuck 80 hours on Dark Hitter Meteor. I'm never finishing this game. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's, yeah. it's super funny. Uh, Meteor, there is a scripted strat that you can do. I don't. I'm not sure how, like, like who discovered it. But there's a video by Lucy explaining it, um, on on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But um, it's super precise to to perform. Uh, so you basically do like five hits on the opener. You can strafe the opener. That it should always be the same. But if you die to me there, then it will be already active, not sleeping. Yeah. So then you cannot mm -hmm. do scripted anymore. No. Uh, I like that um, I, you know. if you position yourself correctly in front of him, uh, it should it should be everything it should be avoidable and you should not get laser because laser is just yes. disgusting like it will definitely one shot even with 30 vigor or more unless you're like yeah. blocking with like a giant shield but like honestly who uses shields? <laughs> Uh, I mean, only for two region stamina faster, but yeah, you know, that's... Yeah, yeah Midir's a good one. I like Midir a lot. Uh, I think it's super satisfying. It looks insane. The music is super good. Yeah. The music I, is one I of my favorite tracks, honestly. To this day, I think that FromSoft has never been able to top a, a dragon. Like, they just nailed Midir so much for me. Yeah, it to was me, really interesting to me how they took like they just straight up took uh, some part of Midir moveset to the generic dragons in Elden Ring. When I yeah. was fighting those dragons, I was like, oh, I know this move. <laughs> I know how to avoid this move. That's the same way I felt as well. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, such a waste. I mean, Midir is such a good I, boss. It's gotta be A, Danny. It's yeah? gotta be mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. I agree. Alright, Nameless King. Honestly, I think there's, oh my God. there's a problem with Nameless King. I, it's one of my favorite favorite bosses for sure, but phase mm -hmm. one is just super annoying when he just flies in with his bird <laughs> with the yeah, with his uh, worm. Unless, unless he gives you the the best opener, which is you know diving in, and then you can just punish that attack. And then yeah, usually if done right, you will stagger him right away. But yeah, you can you can you, get a good then. opener, and if if mm -hmm. you if you walk to him during that opener. You can do enough hits to stagger the the bird and just kill it. Yeah. And then you just skip the the whole phase one because you don't want to fight like that boss. The camera becomes actually stupid. Like it's unwinnable. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> camera fight, right? Yeah, camera. I still, the I still boss. feel like without that first phase, that potential really bad first phase, I feel like it's still a, an a worthy boss in my opinion. Yes. Because the second phase is fantastic. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think. I, I would say extent. even like if if we are taking both phases, I'll give it an A. But if we are yeah. only taking Nameless King, like the second yes. phase, I will give it the, an the S even. An, yeah. Oh, an S. Yeah, yeah. Like the yeah. the move set is super flashy, 
but the damage he does is always fair. He has some good openers, you can distance yourself from it and heal, he doesn't punish your healings. Yep. So you can keep the fight going with a like, good momentum. Uh, you can get some insane staggers too. And there's even a way to avoid the lightning on second phase by just uh, moving yourself to the right. Mm -hmm. And turning around for when he's charging the lightning that he throws to the sky. Uh, you can just turn your camera again, like uh, opposite him. And the game will think that you're not there for some reason. I don't know. It's it's a super good strat. <laughs> super good. <laughs> I, I give it an Martin S. I, I like it. It's one of my favorite bosses for sure. An S? Yeah. Is an S? Yes. But, 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 huh? Yes. There's an S? Yeah, in my... yes. So, I wait, don't have the wait, scuffed on. one. Oh no, so hold on. Do, oh. we, do we have an S at all? Have we had an S? Uh, Since we started? I feel like... I, th I, I thought that A was like the top, you know? <laughs> top like... Oh, you, you thought A was the best one? Oh, wow. Well. Now then... I mean, it's, well, it's okay. We it's, can we can yeah, we don't have to delete the anything. S. You sure? It's, yeah, yeah. We can keep nameless king on A. This is a, it's a okay. good one. Okay. Sounds okay. Good to me. Yes. So no confusions are added. Yes. Uh, Osiris. Osiris is <laughs> kind of an annoying boss. Like it's super <laughs> broken. Uh yeah, yeah. Mm. That's that's a tough one because if he gives you the best RNG, then it's it's a really fun fight, and if he insta charges you, then it's an F. <laughs> so yeah, so like to be fair, all right. So there, there's a big problem with Osiris. We discovered that you can hit the head to make a stagger bar uh, like build up, and he will with with twin blades he will uh, stagger after like five hits or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And on the body, you can start him like after six hits, so you can alternate body and head hits to keep him getting staggered. Mm -hmm. But the problem there is that if you are in front of him, it's much more likely to get the insta charge, which you cannot yes. roll basically, or you can roll preemptively, but your character will not be able to roll it if you are not rolling in advance. Mm. So it's. Some people prefer to stay behind him to uh, trigger the, the spin, which you can also strafe and then get some good punishes. But if you want to, what wanna... do you prefer to do, Danny? Uh, I usually just uh, stay kind of on the side. Yeah. And if he positions himself like his head close to me, then I'll try to hit the head if I can. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's why mostly I get uh, I get bonked by the insta charge. <laughs> yeah. I, I personally I like to stay behind him if I can. That way I can bait the whole like tail attack, yeah. and I can just punish that move real quick. But yeah, again, the, the problem is that is kind of... sometimes he will insta charge even if you're behind yes. him. He yes. will run super away from you, and you're just stuck yes. there like an idiot running behind. Like, yep. wait for yep. me! <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Yes, it's terrible. And you're gonna, it you're like, okay, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna hit the the tail so I don't have to run yep. all the way over there to hit him. And then he turns yep. around, and <laughs> you have to run anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, was, you had a this, plan? It's so dumb. Eh, not it, anymore. It's super yeah. silly. So I, I give it a... I think a C is fine for Osiris. C? Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? C? D? I, I was honestly debating between C or D myself, yes. Yeah. So I am cool with... I, I think things. Osiris is better than ODK and Grape Tender for sure. Yes. Yes. So I, I will probably give it a C. Mm-hmm. So what do you think about Pontiff? Pontiff Sullivan. Pontiff, I honestly, I it is one of my favorites just because I, again, I'm I'm kind of just the satisfaction of just reposting, and then just kind of oh, killing him yeah. so fast. Mm -hmm. it, that there's no better feeling. It's just kind of like on the same boat as, um, as Champ Gundir, in my opinion. So because it, it is it is scripted to some extent, of course. Yeah, it's and like a cake right, recipe. Yeah. yeah. If you do it right, then well, it always you, looks impressive. On, on your uh, on your run, which is plus mm -hmm. five, you can even kill him before he transitions. Yes, correct. So that's yes. super cool looking too. Yeah, I love that. So, uh, if we're talking, you know, if we're talking difficulty or if we're talking yeah, just uh, like bonus points for being impressive, uh, I, mean, I would I would rank it between A or, or B, honestly. I would give it a B. I. Yeah, B. 
Did you know that Pontiff at one point on development was supposed to be the final boss of the game? I did not know that. Yeah, so but, uh, it it makes it makes sense. According to lore and stuff, it makes a lot of sense, right? But yeah. uh, his movesets is just it, it's just pretty crazy. Uh, he would have had to have a lot more health, right? If he yeah. was gonna make it. For, and, and I, I yeah, think it would have been boss. like really really hard as a last boss. Yes. It's too yeah, frantic definitely. of a fight to make him yeah. like much tankier than what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Pontiff, Pontiff is a decent boss on, on runs. It should always go good if you can parry him. If you mess up parry he, and he summons the ghost, then you're kind of screwed because you don't have enough damage to like get rid of the ghost. Yeah. You're just stuck there like dodging twice and hoping for, a, for an extra L1. So what about Gale? My boy Gale. Oh my like, god. Like, I, I don't well, even have to argue that it's an A, right? It is, yeah. It's yeah. gotta be. It's, it's definitely, be. for me, the best boss. Like, in the whole, yes. I would say, Soulsborne. Mm hmm. Maybe, like. Well, it is. I feel like it's on par with Ludwig, uh, honestly. Oh, no, yeah. Ludwig's a good one, yeah. too, on Bloodborne, yeah. But, uh, uh. But, um. I think I prefer Gale, honestly. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The music, it it's just so yeah. good. No, the music, yeah, the music, uh, the move sets, the the arena, everything about this fight is fantastic. Like the whole end of the world vibe, it's just epic. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. like, give me your dark souls. Like <laughs> he's just mugging you, like on a yeah, on a on an alley. <laughs> yep. Yeah, what a yeah. simp, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Danny. Oh, you're gonna say the S word. Oh, I'm sorry. It's you, please don't ban me. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's not much to talk about Gale. Uh, you no. can either use um, poison resin on first phase to like get some mm -hmm. extra damage if yeah. you if you pick it up. But on all bosses unrestricted, you do fire on, fire on keep skip, so you don't really get uh, poison. So you're stuck there using uh, lightning resin, which is like it works okay, but poison is just better. Uh, yeah, no, it is. He's just super tanky, and there there there's no cheese, there's no strat. You just have to be able to position yourself, react, and just hit him back. Sometimes yeah. Scout hits to see when he'll stagger. Sometimes he's, he's gonna do the crazy combo where he does four hits. And if you are yeah, two I hits away too, from yeah. stagger, you can yeah. stagger him and interrupt him. Like, it just mm -hmm. it looks super good. But it's yeah. just a fight where you have to get good, for sure. There's no way around it. Nope. Yeah, yep. there's no cheese. It's just you and Gale. Yeah. <laughs> Insane yeah. boss, amazing boss, fight. honestly. Yeah. My favorite. Mm -hmm. And Soul of Cinder, I would. I don't think you're gonna argue also this an A, right? It's gotta be, yeah. It's gotta be. I mean, honestly, the only reason why I would even consider putting it in B is when he switches to Pyro. But even then. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it's... Pyro is, is really scuffed. So Cinder yeah. has four faces on phase one. Or for sub uh, modes, I guess. There's a. Mm -hmm. uh, straight sword. The. Um, Spellcaster, Magic, the Pyro with Curve Sword, and the um, Miracle and Lance for Spear. Yes, Spear, yeah. Yeah, so um, all of them have their own ways to punish. And I would say the hardest one to punish is uh, Curve Sword and Pyro. Mm -hmm. Just because he's super fast and he can also, even when he gets staggered, he can parry you if yes. you punish with L1. You can get away with a couple of weapon arts that are unparable, but that's not much damage to TBH, so it's better to avoid um, that phase. If you get unlucky, of course he will transition fast, but on all bosses, usually you have so much damage that you can kill him, or at least take him to phase 2 without him ever changing stances. Yes. So that's really, really cool. On all bosses, actually, this boss is kind of a wimp because you have so much damage and HP that they just melt him because you, they like, basically already did like DLC and stuff, so you're super strong. Yeah, yeah, you keep him last for that reason. It's just kind of you have he's, like he's the Dorianti plus three stuff, ring sure. and yeah, three yeah. percent glitchless is a plus six ring blades with a forty dex and only Lloyd's. <laughs> Void Sword yeah. Ring. We don't have Pontiff's Right Eye, we don't have Orianti, we don't have a uh, heal protection. The only thing that we have is that after Princess, we can level up 
uh, Beagle to 30. <laughs> so we can just face tank everything. Yeah. Yeah, not, that's not what that I it's did good, personally. but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because I mean, two it... hits and you, even sometimes one hit actually, and you're just dead in yeah. the run, so. Yeah, but yeah Cinder is a good okay. one. And Plim Plim mm -hmm. Plum enjoyers. Plim Plim Plum, yeah. What do you think about Twin Princess? I think it's still, I think it's A as well. Uh, simply because if it's, again, if mm -hmm. it's done right, it, it's, it just looks so impressive. <laughs> yeah. It really does. There, so. There's a way that we. Uh, used to spin in princess uh it looks really yes. cool when it spins but um mm -hmm. i would say that you need to lock off your camera and it's super hard to do precise yes. you have to keep up with it it's super precise and if you nail it like properly he won't teleport away from you but if you mm -hmm. mess it up and you're unlocked you don't know where he'll teleport to he could teleport behind you and bonk you yeah mm -hmm. But yeah, but, it's, I mean, it's a cool one. Everything about this fight, yeah. Even even if it's not, uh, you know, in a speedrun setting, the music is fantastic. Oh the, yeah, the music is yeah. so good. Yeah. And, the, and the voice acting, you know what? Like I never yeah. ever noticed that the voice acting was so good until yeah. I got to this boss. Like, oh dear, another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one, purloiner of cinders. Another docket contender. Oh boy, it gives me the shields every time. Holy. It's way too good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear brother. I'm on my way. My brother. Unyielding sword of Lothric's prince. For that is our curse. That is our sure. curse. Oh yeah. god, insane. I'm right. shit talking also when you yeah. die. <laughs> oh, you may rest here too, if you like. If you like. <laughs> <laughs> you can rest right here. Oh wow. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Man. Stop. Spot marks are great, but you may rest yeah. here too, if you like. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright, board of the Royal Valley. Oh my god, this boss had no business having such an amazing OST for like the first <laughs> boss of, yeah. of, of the game. What, what was so that, funny. man? What was that? Have you seen uh, the memes? The, the Dark Souls boss memes? And they would, they would put like a, an angry chihuahua running to you with a board stain. And oh god, yes. Oh god, yes. <laughs> yeah, and fantastic. then you die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you die. Yeah, when they charge and you die. No, I, I think... I don't know. I it's kind of tough because I see so much of Vort. You know, I feel like if it was a later boss, I think it would be probably ranked higher. But um, yeah. yeah, he 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 doesn't last long. I would say, no. just like <laughs> oh wow, hey, That's so mean. <laughs> Wait, Danny. it's true though. Like it's just not that many hits to kill him. It's true. It's and true. you can just uh, repose his head, like do a charge or two when he it's the. Um, the the breath the ice breath at mm -hmm. you yeah and then he's just yeah. done like there's no way he survives that and uh, his hitbox I... are very broken as well like on phase two I mean it's just super wide you can insta charge when you're hitting him yes. from behind and then yes. you will get blown away for some reason I don't know it's just kind of broken it's a good boss but I would say it's not the best I I would give it a C, C? I think. Yeah, C. Yeah. C for sure. Hey, Wolnir is not a very good boss. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I would yeah, say yeah, it's yeah, one yeah, of those yeah. gimmicks that are yeah, kind of annoying. It's, yeah. I, I wouldn't I probably wouldn't put it on the same on the same as um as the F tier bosses, but it mm -hmm. is a gimmick boss, so I think probably D. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking D as well. Um Music is not that memorable. 
the, on, on speedruns, if you're doing plus five, you just don't care about it. You just destroy his bracelets and that's it. Aren't you the one who literally renamed him as Kampnir for my runs? Because yes. I keep... Yeah, I keep <laughs> Tyler Kampnir. Plus three. Yeah, yeah, because we're doing a plus one uh, short sword and then you need to do four hits, then nine hits, and then six hits for the last one with raw plus one. But if you're doing, for example, I used to run any percent current patch, which is unrestricted. And you're doing plus zero short sword for Golden Warrior. For Warrior, and it's um, with bundles. It's mm -hmm. nine, eleven, ten. It's so bad, Danny. Yeah, it's, it's th so literally bad. thirty hits. And if you run out of bundle, then you're stuck doing double the the amount of hits. It's just disgustingly bad. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, world record runner Sigbra for uh, any percent glitchless is doing plus zero short sword as well. Just so does he, that he doesn't have to go and upgrade his weapon to plus one on raw. Uh, I hope people are not gonna start doing that strat. This is just super cursed. cursed. Yeah. Yeah. It's Ugh. horrific. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and there is a, a little strat that we can do for the last bracelet. If you have the stamina, you can kill the bracelet before he starts uh, pulling his body up. But um, you can get caught by the fog. Just, just get killed by it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fog. super bad, yeah. Yeah. But you always kind of try to go for the quick kill because it's like 10 seconds that you save by that. Or like 8 yeah. maybe. Yeah, because he, really he doesn't do the animation of like following, of like falling to the void and stuff. Right. He just right. like disappears. Yeah. But he can get the 1 HP meme. Have you seen that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen it plenty of times. We do an, ex an extra hit <laughs> just because sometimes he'll get 1 HP that you won't be able to see. And, yeah. and you're like using your, your souls, uh, waiting for him to like, yes, wait, why is he not dying? Yeah. Like, what the? Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> and, where's the message, man? I've, I've yeah. taken my armor off. Like, what's and happening? And he hits you and it's like, oh, you're still alive. <laughs> and you literally punch him and he dies. It's yeah. super dumb. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it's a D boss for sure. Yeah. And then we have Yorn the Giant, which is, I would say it's a decent gimmick. Yes. But it, it's one I of the... I like it. It's yeah. one of the worst bosses in terms of RNG. It's a very RNG dependent fight. You can lose mm -hmm. 20 seconds easily to this boss just because he decided to stomp two times and you're screwed. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean... It doesn't matter if you're trying to bait his attacks to give, you know, to for him to give you the best attacks. Sometimes he just doesn't want to do it, so mm -hmm. you just have to kind of cut your losses. <laughs> yep. And uh, just try again, I guess. But um, I see. I I know so many people who just feel like it was such an underwhelming fight. I still think that even if we try to kill him as quickly as we can, I still think it's a more it's an impressive fight. Yeah, overall. yeah. I think it's really cool. Uh, I think I like his move sets. Even though we just see two moves, either the stomp or the vertical yes. slash. Yes. But um, for example, on on casual playthroughs and stuff, or mm -hmm. just trying to kill him without the storm builder, it's it's actually pretty pretty cool looking. Yeah. It is. Uh, when when we were doing your viewer run, mm -hmm. we were killing him without the storm ruler and just yes, four people yes. going at him it looks so cool. Yeah, well, I mean, for me it was fantastic. You guys were like in the middle of it, but I was I was looking from a distance, and it was it, I could see all of his move sets, and it was very impressive. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for the help, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's all the bosses of Dark Souls uh, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bosses in A, three on B, yep. five on C, three on yep. D, and five on F. Yep. So I would say the balance is pretty positive in terms of oh, boss yeah, quality. Absolutely. And yeah. I, I have always said that that com compared to the other Souls games, I would think that um, Dark Souls 3 has the better bosses overall. Yes. Yes. It's, it's definitely the part that I enjoy the most of the games and that's why I decided to do glitchless speedruns. Because I, I don't like skipping. Uh, Even if I would like to skip a couple of these, like... Like Half light and yeah. crystal sage. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a. I, I love the this game I, I still like to this day. Even though Elden Ring is has a lot of good going for it, but but PS3 is just my favorite for now. 
it has a lot of things going for it, yes, but it's also a lot of a lot of reskins from DS3. Yeah. So, so, so what I was <laughs> what I was saying yesterday, it's like if you have like a really really uh, good cheese sandwich, like just a big mm -hmm. cheese sandwich, and you take that that same cheese and put it on like a pizza, like it's, yes. it's still the same cheese and it's good. Yes. But it's just mm -hmm. so much area that it has to cover that just cannot, you know. That's actually a really good analogy. analogy yeah, really good. thanks, yeah. thanks. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so that's wow. that's my problem with it. It's just too big for what it attempts to do. Hey, yes. we can, we can I... talk about that some other time, though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we we both actually tried running Elden Ring, but we came back to Luxus Three. Yeah, I just ended up missing it. I think honestly, I think. I was kind of running Elden Ring while you were still doing marathons for charity mm -hmm. on DS3. There's a little slime here that's really friendly and he's just minding his own business until we just fall on his head. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy, <laughs> didn't even see it coming. And then you wonder why you get hit by karma. Yeah. Uh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, okay. For, I'm not, I'm not. It's so cool. And when you invited me to commentate for you and I saw you running through DS3 again, I just kind of had that. I just, I just you missed, missed it, it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you just I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so that. You, I kind of, you kind of are the one yeah. who uh, just kind of drew me back to oh, DS3. Thank and I, you. I'm not even mad at all. <laughs> no, you're doing amazing, that. Good job. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining me for for this little idea. I hope Loving people like it. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Also too. And I'll see you next time. Thank you everyone for watching. Go check out Matt on uh, Twitch.tv slash Georgia. Yes. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye bye.